Okay, Anthony Edwards, first off, thank you so much for joining me on what is like one of the biggest times of your life. When you wake up Wednesday morning, tell me the first thought that's going to pop into your head. To be honest, um, probably going to say I got to feed and walk my dogs. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the first thing I'm going to say. But as far as like basketball wise, I'm just going to, I'm probably going to pray and just whatever happens, happens. I'm not even going to really think about where I'm going to end up, just whatever happens is supposed to happen. You have said who wouldn't love to be the number one pick. So sell me. Tell me why you deserve to be the number one pick. I feel like uh, I deserve to be the number one pick, probably mostly because of the person I am off the court, not even on the court. Everybody, I feel like a lot of people know my abilities on the court. Just the person I am off the court, like, I'm just always smiling. I'm always happy, and I'm never a negative person, so I just feel like that, that sums it all up. You know, the top picks obviously are expected to deliver results very quickly. In what ways will you and can you impact the game immediately? Uh, just my uh, playmaking ability, uh, my ability to score the ball, my, my ability to score the ball on all three levels. Uh, and I feel like my, my uh, defensive potential. Yeah, I mean, I've watched a lot of interviews that you've done recently, and you always say, listen, defense is my thing. I can play defense. Why is it so important to you to make sure, like, teams and fans know that you can play some deep? <laughs> uh, I feel like because, like, it's a lot of clips of, of college where I, I play defense. It's a lot of clips where I didn't play defense, but I just want the world to know, like, that I really can defend the ball. Like, I can play really good defense, so. Yeah. I feel like we're going to see next year. Like, if I stay engaged and locked in the whole time, the whole 72 games, people are going to see how, really, how good my defense really is. Now, I'm giving you a chance to deliver a message to the fan base of the team that drafts you. You know, you are now a part of this family, whatever team that is. What would you say to that fan base? Just ready to win a whole lot of games, go to the playoffs, go to the conference finals, and go to the finals. <laughs> and I love, I love, to, I love, I love to get in touch with the crowd. Man. I love, to, you know, pump the crowd up, talk to the crowd. So, y'all just be ready. Yeah. Who are you most looking forward to playing against when the season starts? Uh, most definitely Kevin Durant. Yeah, you love KD. You were talking about him when we uh, when we did that interview. You're also saying like that is somebody that you have had some communication with. Have you still? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he, has he offered any good advice? No, nah, I won't. No. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do I, know. I got to play against him, so uh -huh. Yeah, so you're right. Like, he's competition now. What's it going to be like, though? So when you step on the court, you'll have to separate, you know, the fact that he is one of your favorites. Uh, I mean, when, when, when I enter the league, it's not going to be a favorite no more. I'm going to be my favorite. But I, when I wasn't in the league, I was, he was my favorite. But I, once, I, it, once Wednesday come, I don't have, I'm my favorite. So I'm not Ooh, I love that. this. You're saying everything right. <laughs> I know that you got to speak with Michael Jordan, um, and you said that he gave you some tips on how to be more efficient in the mid post. What were some of those tips? I mean, you got basketball tips from the GOAT. Oh, uh, man. It was just mostly like just, you know, use your butt more in the post, in the mid post. So I feel like that was the best thing he told me. And he was like, you are, he was like, you're stronger than I am. You're more athletic, you're bigger than me. And he was just like, Use your butt more and create more space, and you're gonna be unguardable. So I just feel like hearing that was just was just crazy because he actually came and watched me work out and gave me some some tools to take with me while while I keep working out. So I feel yeah. like he, yeah. I mean, for Michael Jordan to say like you're stronger than me already. I mean, how does that how does that even feel? You know, to hear that and to know that he sees this potential. Uh, I can't even describe it. Man. It's just crazy. Like, yeah, it, it was just crazy, him just being there, yeah. You know, being a part of Clutch Sports means you get to be around and learn from a bunch of NBA stars and leaders. So I want to talk about a couple of those guys. Tell me, as specific as you can be, what have you learned from LeBron? I don't talk to those. The only person that I talk to all the time is Draymond Green. Okay, what have you learned from Draymond? He just, he just tell me, like, just stay focused. Like, no matter what happens, just stay focused. Just keep working. You tell me, you be like, you got it all. Just keep working. Just stay grinding. Stay level-headed. Just keep working, young fella. Everything in front of you. That's probably the only thing he tells me. 
I know last time I spoke to you, it was actually in the bubble when I was grabbing dinner with some friends and Jal Morant was there and you guys were FaceTiming. I know you guys are super close. What advice has he given you during this pre-draft process? Uh, kind of the same thing. He was just telling me, yeah. he was just telling me like, it was, it, it's easy for him. Probably the most, he was just like, it's easy for me. So it's not going to be hard for you. He was like, you score the ball at a high clip, like I said, and he was just like, "Well, you you can score the ball, so it's gonna be easy." Like you get switches with bigs, like it's not it's not hard, it's not as hard as people make it seem. So I yeah. feel like that's the best advice he gave me. Okay, nice. And last question for you: I know last time I talked to you, you love music. So, know what song from 2020 describes you and your game? You gotta pick one. Low down by Lil Baby. Okay, why? Why low down? Good pick, but tell me why. <laughs> Just because me and LaBay were from the same place. We both from Oakland City. And it just, you know, it's, we jail. Like, we be around each other. Like, we just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we cool. And I just, I love your music. So, yeah, I feel like low down is, is the best song. Well, Anthony, it is amazing to talk to you as always. I am looking forward to continuing to cover you through a very long and prosperous NBA career. And most importantly, best of luck. I'll be watching and I, I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Good talking to you. Good talking to you as always. Bye, Ant. Okay. Bye.